Uh, JRTC here at Nixa High School is part elective and part PE credit. This uh, is outside the classroom, extracurricular, and uh, we have several competitive teams outside the classroom, whether it be drill teams, rifle teams, uh, leadership, academic. This is a cyber patriot that became available about four and a half years ago. It's air sponsored by the Air Force Association, and I thought it would be a great way to expand even further. Not a big group. You know, anywhere from 10 to 15 students a year working on this uh, computer technology-based competition, but, uh, uh, but it's clear that they're having a lot of fun. Anyone can get involved. You just have to have the willingness to. We all had a starting point, whether it was like gaming on a Minecraft server and like coding our own little things or running in internet forums. Basically get some form of computer experience because like the little bit you learn there carries huge into something like this. The Cyber Patriot team is about to have our third competition. And they've advanced to a third round and reached what we call the platinum level. Uh, the top third of the teams are a platinum level, and they were actually uh, our 25th in the nation right now to 500 some odd teams. So we normally have like two sections, the Ubuntu team and the Windows team, both are very different type operating systems. Uh, the Ubuntu has a lot more written commands, while the Windows has a lot more point and click. I'm, I'm the main Linux guy, and Linux is a whole other story. Um, there's a few curveballs that pop up here and there. I'm trying to find the vulnerabilities itself is one heck of a ride. In general preparation, we will uh, look online for like new um, vulnerabilities for computers. Um, if we make it into the top um, 12 after the next two competitions, then we have it, we'll be able to go to nationals in Washington, D.C. This third round will determine if we move on any further, and they have to find vulnerabilities, the ways that a hacker can get in there, and in some cases may have already gotten into it, and they have to stop them and shut down any other way to get in there. So it's a challenge. It really is. It takes six hours. So the most important thing that um, yeah. I'm hoping to teach the guys in Cyber Patriot is to learn how to learn online, how to find resources, how to use them, things that I do in my job every day um, that would help them, uh, would help them in their military careers um, if they decide to go in the military. Um, these type of people, this type of knowledge is what's going to be needed in the future. Oh, the team is Great, we have so much fun in here. Yeah. This is something I'm definitely going to remember. <laughs> definitely join. Join? It's a great experience. I'd recommend get on the uscyberpatriot.org. They have a lot of information on there, how to form a team or what the concept of the whole thing is. And uh, that's kind of how we got started. And uh, so I'd strongly recommend they do that. But on, those, on that website, there are training modules. Not great, they're the very basics, but it's a good way to get started.